Hey everybody. So right now is a really great time where everybody's just talking about the new Meta glasses. And the thing with that is I think the SDK is where the real magic is gonna happen. So developers can now build apps that tap into the cameras, the microphones, the speakers, and even those tap gestures that you do on the side of the glasses. And it means that as far as apps go, the possibilities are really endless. So today, I'd like to count down the top 15 apps that I think really need to exist in Meta's ecosystem. So starting at number 15 is a personal AI researcher. Try and imagine your glasses almost acting like a live research assistant. So you can look at a product or a building uh, maybe an article or a website, and your glasses can instantly summarize or even compare different reviews online or give you the backstory of something. No phone needed. You just look at it, ask it, and it'll research like an AI agent, opens up its own web browser, figures it out, and then lets you know back through your glasses. So coming in at number 14, I would love to see text message, search and reply. So say you're driving or, or you're too busy to look at your phone, you can just ask, hey, what did John text me last week about dinner? And it can search through your text messages and find out exactly what time and day he was saying to meet for dinner. Number 13, I think an email search assistant would be valuable also. Same idea as the text messages, but this is more for your, your email inbox, right? So you can ask it to um, read to you the last email from your boss regarding the budget or even draft an email reply saying, hey, I'm going to send the report tomorrow. I think that's going to give an instant productivity boost for those times where you can't get to your, your computer or open up your phone to do it. And I think it would be way faster just doing it through a voice assistant. Another thing I think would be a great idea would be number 12, a hands-free dictation to document. So imagine like Google Docs or Microsoft 365 allows you to create a document by your voice and then you can dictate right into it. So say you're reading something you can just talk right into your glasses, have it create a document, fill out that document for you, have it format the document into paragraphs and sync it straight into your docs. Coming in at number 11, I think it will be super handy to have a hands-free note-taking app. So you can quickly capture on the go, uh, say something like, Note this client presentation is due by Friday. Boom, it's saved to your notes. It can be your Google Tasks or uh, OneNote. The different app developers can implement that into theirs. So maybe you can create notes and have it pushed right into Notion. So number 10, I would love to see a memory recall app. Now this would tap into that super sensing that they've been promising that they're working on but they just haven't released yet. So basically, I would love for my glasses to remember things for me, and then later, I could just ask it like, hey, what was that model number I was looking at yesterday? Or who was I talking to at the conference? And it can just go through the camera's feed, pull it up and let you know. Number nine, one that I'm really, really hoping comes out soon, is a context aware to-do list. So you don't have to check your lists anymore. Your glasses will pop up and remind you at the right place, at the right time. So say you walk into the kitchen and your glasses remind you, hey, you're low on milk. Or when you get to the office, it'll say, hey, don't forget that follow-up email that you're supposed to send to your boss. You get to the grocery store, it reminds you what's on your grocery list, so it can just look by location and absolutely pop in there what you're supposed to remember when you get there. To me, that would be one of the most game-changing features that you can get. Number eight, I'd love to see a second brain meeting assistant. 
where once you get into a meeting, your glasses can record and transcribe and summarize meetings in real time. And it would even link what's said to who's speaking. It would be like having an assistant that takes notes, but it'd be right there in your glasses. So number seven, an emergency safety app. So you know how the Apple Watch and your Samsung watches, they have these emergency safety features where if you fall down or you get into a car wreck, they'll contact emergency services for you. I would love to see them be able to stream audio and video right through your glasses so that it gives more information to those responders as far as where you might be or what the situation is that's going on. Number six, some sort of a social memory helper. So if you're at a networking event, your glasses can remind you someone's name, job title, or even what the last conversation you had with them was. No more of those awkward, sorry, what was your name again? I get those all the time and I absolutely hate them. But it would be really cool if either through like facial recognition or, or some sort of mechanism, if my glasses would be able to kind of get rid of those terrible moments. Number five, a language buddy. So imagine that you look at something and through your glasses, the camera can detect the object that you're looking at and it'll quietly tell you that word in the language you're trying to learn. You could double tap the side of your glasses to hear it slower and maybe even triple tap on it to have it use it in a sentence. If you're having a conversation with somebody, maybe it can whisper the translation in one ear so you're keeping good eye contact and it's not too distractive, right? Maybe it'll even do spaced repetition like, hey, you learned Taza earlier. Would you like to review it? I think it would be great to be able to just immerse yourself with a voice in your ear all the time who's looking at the situations that you're in and utilizing that to help you learn a new language. Number four, a DIY or repair assistant. So let's say you're fixing a sink or, or maybe you're building like a big piece of Ikea furniture, right? You could look at that item and get step-by-step -step guidance on how to build it or how to repair it. And maybe even like it could connect you with an Ikea expert and they can coach you live and walk you through building it. I think that would be really, really amazing having different professionals be able to access your point of view and walk you through something as if you had a professional right there teaching you the correct way to do things. And it doesn't even have to be just for repair things or, or build things. This could be in just a myriad of different daily activities that we do where it would be great to have somebody looking at what we're doing and walking us through the correct way to do it. App number three, a mood and health companion. So I would love for some health app to be able to pick up like on the stress levels in your voice or your posture or different patterns and then gently nudge you to like maybe take a break or it sounds like your body really needs to get moving and stretch out. Something that's always watching your back and helping you to reduce your stress levels or elevate your mood even. So app number two, a travel lens. So imagine that you're exploring some new country. It would be really neat to have this app instantly translate signs and get cultural notes on landmarks or even real-time safety alerts like there's protests or there's a high traffic area. It would be sort of like Lonely Planet, but a little bit smarter. And it would be going on the whole time as you're walking and taking a tour of this new country or city and really, really help as far as exploring a new place. And the number one app that I would love to see would be a real-time shopping assistant. So imagine that you're shopping for whatever it is that you need. In your ear, when you look at the product, it can instantly tell you price comparisons that it's found online 
or maybe the, the different Amazon reviews for that product. So you know if it's really as good as what it's advertised as. Maybe it'll give you nutritional information or even compatibility checks like, hey, this will fit in your car. Basically, it would be able to allow you to make much better shopping decisions while you're out and about. So those were the top 15 apps I can't wait to see coming to our glasses. But here's a reality check. The first version of the SDK is not gonna give developers access to the display on the new Meta Ray-Ban display glasses. And it's also not gonna support gestures from the Meta Neural Band yet either. But what it does unlock today is the camera, the microphones, the speakers, and the taps. And that's actually enough to start building a whole new wave of great experiences right now on the glasses that you already own. And that's the best part is the SDK features aren't just for the brand new glasses. They're also rolling out to the previous generation. So the pair that you already own get way, way better. Which apps are you most excited about to see get support for the glasses? Drop in your favorite ideas in the comments below and let's make a developer wish list together. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be covering all the new demos as they roll out. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you next time.